Welcome to Raw Holla. Both of these players, their story and their rise to power is actually oddly similar, where it was really only uh, over the pandemic where they started to take names and the world took notice. But their play styles are also very different. Meg D having a mental of steel you cannot break this man he will drain out of the match but java java sometimes speed runs games and is also one of the most confident players off stage not playing hammer this match though still sticking a bit with spear meg d still playing guitars but also changing out the sword that we sometimes see him for on a surrey for bow and that bow i mean he has played ember a decent bit and i'm pretty sure there's probably another bow character that he's played um but this ember is not something he throws out all the time so although it makes sense for meg d it is still a bit of a curious pick and the game i think is so far gone in meg d's favor because java is having a very hard time landing hits right now if this was any other player java would have like taken two stocks not for sure meg d right now taking control of this ember this ember does have low defense so one or two strings and just like that like i said low defense game's even but honestly this this ember is the first character uh I'm, I've known Meg before, like when I first started watching him, he was doing things, amazing things with his uh, Ember character. So I have a lot of faith in it. But right now, Java taking that first stop, putting himself in a nicely, not even in the red yet, hoping to do some more damage before he goes down. Java, I think, uh, agreeing to play Meg game and just dance around him. Yeah. Make you doing everything he can to not let this game get out of hand right now. Java, there, dodging the weapon toss. Makes it back to stage. That's huge for him right there. Not Ooh. gonna find the end light recovery. Make searching for that KO. He's trying to find one immediately before this game gets out of hand. Java playing the slow game pretty nicely so far. Weapon starving Meg D. Spear into unarmed. Gonna be a very, very good way to continue his lead as uh, Meg D, I think, is um, starting to have a bit of a hard time finding this. Uh, finding his way into the Satori and Sig to take him down to last stock, but still that low, not last stock, second stock, but that low defense Ember, especially considering how good Java can be with some of these signatures on the Satori, that is not going to be that many more hits. Java just needs to win like a few more interactions and that will be Meg D on last stock. But if Meg D has... Um, Meg D is able to keep Java at bay, push him away, you can see, is not quite able to get the read and gets punished for it. Java, for most of this game, has seemed quite even, but it all it took was just revoking that second stock, and he's in a pretty comfy lead. Do you think he might speed up the game and try and just finish it up after this? Nah, yeah, after he took that first stock, he's been pretty much in control of this game. You know, Meg D hasn't been able to do it too much about it, but... Make the in a position. If he gets one read, ooh, unable to get it confirmed. He's back in this game. No. Oh, Java slips. That might cost him this game. That would be terrible because right now this game is all even. A few hits in Java's favor, but that is nothing. It could have been a little worse because <laughs> Java Java was starting to shift into red in that last stock, and so it was it was a little bit you know. It had it had some wear and tear. It wasn't factory new. It was probably starting to get down to like a kind of tested, or, uh, or maybe not battle scar. It was still kind of I'm trying to find a way to compare it. So I guess it could have been much worse. He could have lost that stock a lot earlier. So if we're just trying to be positive, Java didn't give up a huge lead. Just a, a decent one. Not for sure. I mean, you know, main thing though about stocks is finding that KO punch. You know, that's the hardest thing to find. It's not really the light attacks or anything like that, but. Java ultimately giving it to him for free, but it's looking like it doesn't matter. Java fully confident right now. He's playing away. He's chilling on the platform. He says, maybe I'm up. You got to come see me, man. <laughs> maybe he's actually starting to push in a little bit. And sure. start to see him. Uh, although sometimes that is where it kind of falls apart. I think two of the KOs, yeah, I think either one or two of the KOs that Java has gotten has been punishing Meg D for speeding up the game. But it is so far working as he's bringing it close to, close to even. That's and it. Java is only just barely <laughs> the able to that side <laughs> So 
I mean, he's feeling pretty confident because you could see that uh, that emote coming at the end. But considering the amount of ground that Megdi was able to bring up last minute and also change his approach, Megdi has been punished for his aggression a lot that game, but was able to find something new. And I'm not quite sure what it is, but Java, I think, is starting to catch on. Okay, this is when Megdi's, uh, this is, ooh. This is new. Java agreeing to the, um, uh, Java agreeing Queen to nine. the Qatar's mirror match and has, Three, two, is, we're going with one of the lowest defense characters to one of the highest. This is very interesting. High attack, high defense. I think that's what he's thinking, but it's strange. He, he won the match. You usually don't switch when you lose, but maybe he felt something as he was, the match was going on. You know what I'm saying? He knows better than us for sure. He's in the game. He's filling it up right now. He's starting off strong. With oh, 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 oh. I, I love Queen Nine clips. I love seeing her gameplay. Not a lot of people play her. And like in theory, she should be broken in the meta because you got Spear, fantastic spot, very rewarding. Guitars. Guitars take half your stock in a single dodge. They do not have to read sometimes. And Java being so confident off stage, he just has the delete key on his keyboard bound to stock taken. So still, I. I still really want to see like a huge clip you can only hit with like one of Queen Nine's signatures. In theory, she should be broken, but something about uh, maybe some of her signatures or some of her stats doesn't her quite bring as many people to her. Yeah, she has some, honestly one of the lowest speeds in the game, which is in a game like this, you know, moving in and out the way you dash, three speed, four with the plus one, it's, it's pretty tough to work with. But I've seen people make it work pretty, you know, sometimes here and there, but. Ooh. We're seeing, we're seeing a full Queen Knight display <laughs> right here, man. Taking this game much more handily than the last one. Up two stocks, not even in the red. This is tough. Make these back against the wall. I'm, I'm, just, I'm predicting a character switch after this one. You know that low defense Ember is really tough for Meg D. Meg D. And also just because Java is really speeding up the game out of Megdi's controls, and that's part of the reason why this match is interesting because it really just matters which one of them is playing their own game better than the other. Can Megdi slow down the game? Put some breathing room in between him and Java. He's able to put in a little bit of room as he's able to punish the d -sig. But Java just, I think, held that back. Um, just to kind of mess around a bit, knows he's in a decent lead in the set. Like, you know, I can I can mess with you a little bit. I can play some mind games. Here's a skill check. <laughs> nah, yeah, maybe. Cranking it up a little bit. Here comes the heat. Ooh, ooh. You know, he's not out right now. He hasn't given up yet on this game. That's the nice thing about Ember. Even though her defense is low, her offensive output is different. She has some of the best weapons in the game, some of the best six in the oh. game. Oh, Comeback is entirely possible right now. Yeah, maybe he's starting to have him red and is really starting to kind of over aggress Java. And now we kind of have him on the back foot. There's a decent chance he evens out the game, Ooh. brings us closer to a reverse three stock. Weapon throw not going to be enough. D Sig would have been a fantastic way to end the stock. Oh man. Such a weird in, in danger zone right now. What can he do? Oh. One Sig and he's out of there. Mm -hmm. Nice, my favorite sig on the Ember kit right there, that <laughs> end sig. Let's see, can he do something magical for us right here to even up the set? Because if not, he will be going down 0-2. Oh, Java's definitely learned his lesson to be a lot more careful in this game too. And at first, I'm gonna be honest, I was down a little bit. Like, Meg D could play on the same character for a while, but after that last game goes, I think maybe character swap might be a little bit more likely, but nah, he's still no. sticking yeah. with the Ember. So, I guess he, I was wrong. yeah, I mean, I, I was about to agree with you for a little bit with how that last game ended. Up. Yeah, I think it's the way yeah. he cranked up at the end. He's, he started feeling himself. Maybe he thinks he found something. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know what's going through his head. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's got the plus one defense, taking a little away from his speed. We'll see what happens, man. He's really finding a lot of answers for that queen out with his bow. And Let's see what... so, do we have a map change? Yes, we yeah. do. The Nula shot. <laughs> Watch out, game number three. Yep, yeah, Megdi back against the wall right now. Loses this game, his series will be over and he will be in the loser side of things. So, 
Let's see if Mecca can crank up, man. Avoid three yo. There we go. Let me see some more of that, baby. Nice, good read. Get the full extension. Yeah, I'm telling you that bow. Oh my, oh my gosh. Goodness. This bow immediately stepping up. Java, I think throwing spear earlier for Katars might have been a bit of a mistake because now he's in a very, very difficult spot to come back from a ledge guard and actually oh. gets the reversal. Clashes out the recovery with a decent to come back from multiple bow dares. Meg, the weapon starving, has bow doubled down. Java, all the work that Java had to do, like I said, very confident to house stage, but he really needed to channel all of his powers just to bring it close to even. I think this bow on Miami Dome working out. Great for Meg D. So, weirdly enough, not a character swap, but a map swap to pull this one through. Bring us a little Dude. bit closer, dealer recovery. Job can take the first strike, though. But still, Meg D, when he's in control, he's in control. It's he's starting to get very, very unpredictable and is like slowing down the game when Java expects at least wears him down. Speeding up the game when Java expects at least, and he has a very hard time responding to that. Meg D flipping back and Fourth, making him very, very hard to predict as Java actually very commonly running out of options. One of these days, Meggy's gonna capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. Nice down there, pushes him off stage. He floats all the way to the right. <laughs> Takes the long way back home. He's taking his time with it. He's in the lead. Ooh. And still gonna catch him on the way back, though. Great job, Meggy, neutralizing the stocks before it got out of hand. Right now, health pretty much in, the, in, in range. One or two little attacks, and he's back in the game. Throws the spear. He does not want it. <laughs> he, he wants the guitars, man. He's trying to cut something up, bro. Let's see what he can do. I mean, he's up in the set. Guitars do some good damage. Megdi is uh, still in yellow, so job has a lot of work to do. And it's spending a lot of time on spear. Megdi's at the end of the stock. Both of these players agreeing to a bit more of a slower game. Both of these players don't mm. want to create a lead for the other player, but Java is slowly, slowly outperforming Megdi, but it's only by a little bit as some of these signatures are starting to miss. As we have Megdi switching over to the bow, might be starting to hone his eyes in for a little bit more. Some of these Ember Sigs like that and Sig good KO. Very, very early. Java is using signatures a lot, lot less, starting to get punished from a bit more, realizing, hey, I should not be doing this, as uh, Java is trying to dance around this bow, but it's not quite working. Meg D, playing so slow on guitars, finally bursts out the bow to bring Java out of his comfort zone, and is at a fantastic spot to maybe go ahead in this game, but we do have Spear coming out from Java. That could be the KO getting, almost doesn't get punished for all these signatures. He's probably just playing around at this point. Bro, this is insane. It's been three minutes, 15 seconds, and only What's one stock that? has been taken so far, man. Chomp. The amount of patience Dude. from all these players is insane. What is that? Oh, man. I think Java's just playing around. Nice man. He's gonna take the fun. stock. Magdi taking the first game of the or lead of the game. You know, back against the wall. It's all or nothing right here, Magdi. Uh, wow, Java's able to make it work, snags guitars, but still can't find a landing space with all the end lights and jump nares. Thank you for demonstrating for that. Uh, it can be very hard to find some landing space from uh, Bow, and that's part of the reason why Java wants to try and approach from the side and come back from a ledge guard rather than come back from above, risk an end light for recovery or jump nair or what have you. Java needs to try and defend this weapon, but Megdi able to hop over his head, find guitars, or match a small lead I think of uh, uh, Megdi gets even out but still both these players need to try and build up some damage now Megdi now uh, kind of putting his foot on the brakes a little bit taking this a bit more easy tries to train mm. job of all the battery but still I don't think he's run on battery I think he's run on something else completely and <laughs> Megdi had the lead with Java you know taking that right back making sure he's Ooh, ooh. position to take this series three go right now one stock left megdi on his final stop what can he do ground pound not off stage so he's gonna hang in there bouncing off the floor yeah spear in hand you saw him toss it early he's gonna keep it spam these six the queen of action coming in crazy <laughs> megdi man gotta get back to stage make something happen or he will be on the other side of things 
Jaru's in the lead, so he can really just kind of hang back and wait for Meg D to Ooh. approach him and uh, really just keep him at bay. Push and that him down away. Is gonna do it, man. Rowing the boat straight to the top eight, man. 3 0 in favor of Java, man. Congratulations. Well played, Meg D, man. I like the Ember gameplay, but fortunately, you will be on the loser side of things. Things are not over for the boy Meg D, though, man. He still has a chance to make it back. We might see him in grand finals, man. You never know. But Java ultimately moving on to the top eight. And that game was crazy that in terms of like how long it took. I'm just thinking about it. I think I think they took that down to the three minute mark.